Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and in this video we will see how to find if two line segments intersect or not. So let us get started. In this first case, you can see that line P2, P3 is intersecting this P0, P1. In the second case, these two lines are not intersecting each other. So this is basically the question. I hope you got it. So before understanding the solution to this problem, we need some concept on vectors. So let us look at the concept of vector. In this case, you can see that I have drawn a vector P0, P1. So if you are given two points P0, P1, then we can draw a vector, let's say P0 to P1 and it is called P0, P1 vector. And the corresponding coordinates have also been mentioned. So vector P0, P1 will be nothing but P1 minus P0, which is equals to X1 minus X0 comma Y1 minus Y0. If P0 is origin, then this X0, Y0 will be zero and therefore, vector p0 p1 will be nothing but coordinates of p1 which will be x1 y1 so this is a very basic concept let us look at the concept of cross product now for this cross product if you have two vectors a and b then the cross product will be a b sin theta so let's say we have two vectors p0 p1 and p0 p2 with the given coordinates and we have angle between them as theta so I have already found these two vectors P0, P1 and P0, P2 according to the concept which I explained you earlier. So once you have these two vectors, you want to find the cross product. So finding the cross product is nothing but finding the determinant. Okay, so this is the determinant value where X1 minus X0 and Y1 minus Y0 corresponds to this P0, P1 and this second one corresponds to P0, P2. So if P0 is origin, then this reduces to this formula x1 y1 x2 y2 and you can easily find the determinant as x1 y2 minus x2 y1 so this is the determinant i hope you understood it now you can use the right hand rule in order to find the direction that is if you multiply two vectors then whether it will be positive or it will be negative so in this case we will take p0 p1 as our index finger and p0 p2 as our middle finger then the direction of your thumb will denote whether the value will be positive or negative so in this case it will come out to be positive you can try it with your hand this is the right hand rule for cross product of vectors let us now look at the concept of orientation so what does an orientation mean let's say you are given a line and you are given a point and we want to find the orientation of this point p2 with respect to this line p0 p1 so how can we find it now orientation means that let's say you are moving from this point p0 to p1 then if you are at point p1 then whether you will move in the anti-clockwise direction to reach p2 or you move in the clockwise direction to reach this p2 so this is called the orientation of p2 in this case you can see that the orientation of p2 is clockwise with respect to vector p0 p1 so if you reach from p0 to p1 you will have to move in the clockwise direction to reach p2 now how do we determine this mathematically and in your code so in order to do this we will just draw a vector which is p2 p1 and another vector as p2 p0 so once you take the cross product between these two vectors which is p2 p1 and p2 p0 and find whether it will be positive or negative then you can determine the orientation of this point p2 with respect to line segment p0 p1 you can also find it out by using the right hand rule which is if you put your index finger in this direction and your middle finger in this direction then the direction of your thumb will determine whether the value will come out to be positive or negative so in this case you might already be knowing that the thumb will be pointing upwards and so the value will be positive and since the value is positive therefore from p1 we will have to move in the clockwise direction to reach p2 and if it would have been negative like if the point p2 was somewhere here then we would have moved to anti-clockwise direction from point p1 so the cross product value can be calculated by using this formula which is nothing but the determinant formula which i have already shown in the previous slide so this is the same formula okay so let us now solve the problem by using these concepts so if you are required to find if two line segments intersect or not then the first thing to note is you need to pick one line so let us say we pick this p1 p2 now once we have picked this line we need to determine 
the orientation of the two points of another line. So we want to find the orientation of P4 with respect to line segment P1, P2 and orientation of P3 with respect to line segment P1, P2. So in this case, you can already see that when we draw a vector P1, P2, then from P2, you are required to move in the clockwise direction to reach P4 and you will have to move in the anti-clockwise direction to reach P3. Okay. So this is very important. These two points should be in opposite direction. If one is in clockwise direction, then the another one should always be in anti-clockwise direction. Once you determine that if both are in anti-clockwise or both are in clockwise, then those two line segments can never intersect. I will show you with examples. Okay. So in this case, they are in opposite directions. So it is fine. Now, once you have found the orientation of these two points and found that they are in opposite direction, then you will pick another line. You will pick, let's say, this P3, P4 and find the orientation of P1 with respect to P3, P4. And from P4, you will have to move in the clockwise direction to reach P1. So this will be clockwise. And from P4, we want to find this orientation of P2 with respect to P3, P4. So from P4, you will have to move in the anti-clockwise direction to reach to P2. So this will be anti-clockwise. So you can see that they both are different. One was in clockwise and another one is in anti-clockwise. So it fits our requirements. So once you have confirmed that this rule holds for both these lines and both the points orients in the different directions, then you can confirm that the line segments intersect. So let us look at the next example. This is a special example. In this case, if you want to find, let's say, the orientation of P1 with respect to P3, P4. Okay. So P3, P4. So from P4, you will have to move in clockwise direction in order to reach P1. So this will be clockwise. Now you want to find this P2, the orientation of P2 with respect to vector P3, P4. So you will have to move in the anti-clockwise direction to reach P2. So this is anti-clockwise. So you can see that when we picked this line P3, P4, then the orientation of these two points P1, P2 are in opposite direction from the given point P4. So this holds our condition. Now we will pick another line. We will pick this line P1, P2 and find the orientation of P3, P4. So let's say we want to find the orientation of P4 with respect to line segment P1, P2. So this is P1, P2. So from P2, you will have to move in the clockwise direction. So this will be clockwise. And then we want to find the orientation of P3 with respect to P1, P2. So the orientation of P3 will actually be zero. Since it is lying on the same line segment P1, P2, therefore the cross product will come out to be zero since theta is equals to 180 degrees. And we are actually using sine theta in our cross product formula. So this will come out to be zero. So whenever this comes out to be zero, that is orientation zero, then we always assume that it is always opposite to our found orientation. So in this case, we determined that P4 had an orientation of clockwise and P3 has orientation of zero. And so we will take zero as anti-clockwise, which is opposite to this C. We will just assume it. Okay. So this also holds our condition. And so these two line segments intersect. So let us look at the next example. In this case, let's pick this line P3, P4 first and find the orientation of P1 with respect to line segment P3, P4. So this is our line segment P3, P4. So from P4, you can see that we will have to move in the anti-clockwise direction to reach P1. And so this will be anti-clockwise. And if you want to find orientation of P2 with line segment P3, P4, then it will be in clockwise direction. So this is clockwise. So this holds our condition. Now we will pick the second line, which is P1, P2. So we picked P1, P2 and we want to find, let's say the orientation of P4 with respect to line segment P1, P2 and from P2, this is P1, P2 from P2, this will be in clockwise direction. So this is clockwise. Now we want to find orientation of P3 with respect to P1, P2, then it will be also in the clockwise direction. So these both are clockwise. So once you find that these two orientations are clockwise or in the same orientations, in this case it is clockwise, so they will never intersect. So no intersection, you can just confirm it. So let us now look at the special case. 
द स्पेशल केस इज अबाउट कोलिनियरिटी सो एज यू कैन सी आई हैव ड्रॉन टू डिफरेंट डायग्राम्स वन इज शोइंग दैट द टू लाइन सेगमेंट्स आर कोलिनियर बट दे आर नॉट ओवरलैपिंग दैट इज दे आर नॉट इंटरसेक्टिंग द सेकेंड केस इज सेंग दैट द टू लाइन सेगमेंट्स आर कोलिनियर एंड ऑल्सो दे आर ओवरलैपिंग दैट मीन्स वी कैन से दैट दे आर इंटरसेक्टिंग सो हाउ कैन वी डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन दिस टू केसेस सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न द फोर पॉइंट्स फॉर योर रेफरेंस दीज टू लाइन सेगमेंट्स विल हैव ओरिएंटेशन जीरो ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड से ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ पी थ्री विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पी वन पी टू देन दिस विल बी जीरो एंड ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ पी फोर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पी वन पी टू विल ऑल्सो बी जीरो एंड वाइज वर्सा ओके बिकॉज द थीटा इज ऑलवेज वन एटी डिग्रीज एंड देर फोर क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट विल बी जीरो सिंस साइन थीटा विल बी जीरो सो इफ यू फाइंड ओरिएंटेशन इक्वल्स टू जीरो फॉर बोथ द पॉइंट्स लेट से फॉर बोथ पॉइंट्स पी थ्री एंड पी फोर देन यू कैन कन्फर्म दैट बोथ दिज लाइन सेगमेंट्स आर कोलिनियर सो आर फर्स्ट रिक्वायरमेंट इज कन्फर्म्ड विच इज फॉर कोलिनियरिटी सो वंस दे आर कोलिनियर वी हैव टू ऑप्शन वेदर दे ओवरलैप और दे डोंट ओवरलैप हाउ डू वी डिटर्मिन वेदर दे ओवरलैप सो फॉर दिस रीजन वी विल सी इफ पी थ्री लाइज इन द रेंज ऑफ पी वन पी टू एंड वी विल ऑल्सो चेक इफ पी फोर लाइज इन द रेंज ऑफ पी वन पी टू इफ एनी ऑफ दिस इज ट्रू देन वी कैन से दैट दे आर ओवरलैपिंग एंड हाउ डू वी चेक इट यू कैन सी दैट इफ वी ड्रॉ अ लाइन सेगमेंट पी वन पी टू एंड लेट्स ए पी थ्री इज लाइंग इन साइड दिस लाइन सेगमेंट पी वन पी टू देन द एक्स रेंज एक्स थ्री विल श्योरली लाई बिटवीन एक्स वन टू एक्स टू एंड वाई थ्री विल ऑल्सो लाइन लाई बिटवीन वाई वन टू वाई टू सो दिस इज हाउ वी चेक इफ लाइन सेगमेंट्स आर को लीनियर then they overlap or not so this is all about how to find whether two line segments intersect or not i hope you understood the solution for this problem as usual the code will be present in the description below so do check it out if you find any type of problem then do comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you on next video thank you